Hello and welcome back to Battletech. Um, we're going to be launching into a story mission. Let's do it. Benefactor. Mr. Mr. Oliviera. Is that how you spell that? How you say that? Thank you for honoring my request to meet. I am uh, Anna Maria Centrella. You've heard of my family, I'm sure. Lady Centrella, this is a surprise. I wouldn't expect a member of the Canopian fam uh, royal family to even know who we are, let alone approach us in such a non-traditional manner. This isn't a tr traditional contract, and I don't need Comstar asking questions. Besides, there's no reason to involve the Mercenary Review Board. I already know that I want to hire you. Have I piqued your interest, Commander Beard? That's me. Um, certainly, Lady Centrella. We wouldn't be here if you hadn't. I'm pleased to hear it. The job that I have for you is a relatively simple one. I need you to recover something for me, and I need it done quietly. In exchange for your services, I will pay down the interest on your rather sizable loans and buy you the breathing room you've been looking for. How do you know about... You know what? Doesn't matter. Just tell us what we're supposed to be recovering. This. Uh, Lady Centrella's image is replaced on the screen by a giant photograph of an enormous grounded dropship. Ramshackle structure cling to it like barnacles. She's a derelict vessel, an Argo, one of only two ever made. For over 200 years, she's been lying in state on uh, Exhalus, a pirate moon in the heart of the frontier. I want her, and you have to bring her to me. You're going to bring her to me. Yeah, and how exactly are we supposed to do that? I mean, that's a big ship, and she looks half cannibalized for parts. Look, you can see her ribs in the photo. I'm as enthusiastic about money as the next guy, but I'm a mech tech, not an aerospace engineer. I'll be damned if I can get that thing flying again. Relax, Mr. Avertinen. Uh, Avertinen, I have uh, engineering staff on hand to attend to the Argo. Their leader, Dr. Farah Murad, has qu built quite a reputation for herself in the frontier. You'll find a jump ship waiting for you at Alloy. Uh, Alloway. It will carry you to the Pirate Moon, where you'll clear a path to the crash site. Dr. Mered and, and her team will go to work on the derelict, and you will protect them until the work is done. This should all be well within your capabilities, Commander Beard, unless I've come to the wrong company, of course. Background, Inner Sphere Mercenary. Pirates don't scare me. I fought the worst of the Inner Sphere has to offer. Look at me, I'm from the Inner Sphere. That's where I'm from. That's my background. Did you know? I'm from the Inner Sphere. Sorry. Then I can see no reason why you wouldn't want to accept my offer. Do the job well enough, and there will be no uh, there will be more work waiting for you upon your return. Mr. Mr. Oliviera will never find you a better company than the one I'm offering. Company Beard. Commander Beard, I can promise you that. She isn't wrong, Florentia. Uh, we were looking for a lifetime, a lifeline, and I think that this is as close as we're going to get. We can handle anything you throw at us, Lady Centrella. I, am uh, I aim to prove that to you on Alexis. Axelus. Some of these words. Uh, okay, Lady Centrella, you've got yourself some mercenaries. Very good. I'll forward you the contract to... Uh, I'll forward the contract to Mr. Oliveira. The stories of your exploits in the Inner Sphere are well known to the Magistracy. Ma <laughs> magistracy. Magistracy? Magistracy? Magistracy. Magistracy? Commander Beard, you've built quite a reputation for yourself. Let's hope that you live up to it. The contract for Lady Centrella's derelict recovery job is ready for review in the command center. We should follow up when you think you're ready. Uh, are we going to have to travel? I thought that uh, was the contract. Did we just get like 30000 for like meeting with them? Well, yeah, hey, look at that. Uh, 1,152,000. And yeah, we are going to have to travel for it. Shucks. It's fine. I'll do a quick pause here. You don't need to see this. Okay, apparently you do need to see this. Banging noises draw you to the shared mech warrior barracks where you find a decker disassembling one of the leopard's internal walls. There are already several panels neatly stacked beside him. He pauses and explains. 
Uh, there's a few cubic meters of dead space back there. And I'm making room so that we can stretch without hitting the bunks. As re reasonable as this sounds, the banks aren't going to like you modifying their property. Um, set aside money to pay the fine. You look Decker in the eye. You know how the chain of command works here. You have to clear changes like this before you start. He shrugs. Well, can I? You look over Decker's work. It's cleanly done with no hazards. Take a break until I make a decision. During a chat with Darius, you compare the cost of the fines to the benefit for the mech warriors and decide it's worth it. You lose 20,000. Morale is increased by one. Worth it, honestly. Mor one morale for 20,000 is highly worth it. Okay, um, we're still traveling. And we're going to run into our next bill before we get to our next mission. But that's fine. We have the money to pay it, I think. Uh, back to pause. All right. I, uh, we did run into the bill and uh, I accepted no morale gain or loss. We've arrived at Alloway Commander. Re uh, ready to proceed with our current contract? Yeah, let's do it. Commander, I'm setting a course for Lady Centrella's dr jump ship. It's strange, though. This moon is taking us to uh, Axelus. Doesn't appear on many of uh, any of my maps. Which leads me to wonder, where exactly are we going, and how do we intend to get there? That was one hell of a rough ride. My stomach is still doing somersaults. That's because those crazy bastards used a pirate point to get us here. If we'd suffered a jump, misjump, our sa sour stomach would have been the least of your concerns. The leopard would have, uh, could have gotten uh, irreparably mangled. Some of these words... Dang. Hell, we could have been irreparably mangled. The cautionary holovids they showed us at the academy were the stuff of nightmares. Uh, when exactly did you realize that Centrella's jump ship crew was planning on doing? As we were on our approach to dock with the jump ship, it was way out of position to use any legitimate jump point. Putting two and two together, I could guess at what they were going to do. Um, well, anyway, we're here now, so let's move forward. You heard the commander. Everybody pay attention. We've got a job to discuss. A grainy map of barren moons fills your view screen. A section of the image has been highlighted in white. The Argo's crash site is here, smack dab in the middle of a pirate stronghold. The ship, the stronghold, and everything around it uh, belong to a self-styled bandit queen called Grim Sibyl. Her gang is the closest thing that Axelus has to ruling council. Grim Sibyl. Is that supposed to be scary? It sounds like the kind of name you'd choose out of a hat. What do their defenses look like? They're patchy at best. I don't think that Axelus gets a lot of visitors. They have strong anti-air cover, but little in the way of ground-based defenses. I'm seeing a lot of vehicles, but battle mech activity looks light. What else do you have on Grim Sybil? Before today, I'd, I'd never heard of her. Yeah, I hadn't either. Centrella's intel cell says that Grim Sybil mostly stays put on Axelus, but she's got at least a dozen pirate gangs operating under her banner, so she must have something going for her. Sybil's bio is pretty sparse. There isn't quite, uh, quite a lot of meat there. Just a note that she came up under Lady Paula Trevaline. Trevalin? Trevalin? That sounds better, I think. The, the Pirate Queen of the Tortuga Dominions. I guess that's impressive, having a personal connection to Lady Death and all. Lady Death? Really? I swear, man, these pirate names are killing me. What do you expect, Yang? They're pirates, not poets. Their only real requirement is a willingness to kill for money. Yeah, I guess that's fair. That's true, fair enough. Is there anything else of interest in that file, Darius? Don't leave us in suspense. Well, it looks like Trevalin, Trevalin and Sybil had a falling out. That's not terribly surprising given the Pirate Queen's track record. Sybil managed to survive somehow, good on her, and she's been living on Axelus ever since. The rest of the report is just a rap sheet. Apparently our bandit queen has racked up an astonishing number of kills over the years. Mostly against merchants and freighter, uh, freighter crews, but kills all the same. She look, likes to get her hands dirty and she knows her way around a battle mech. And that's all good. That's all I've got. Define light battle mech activity. 
what are we talking about exactly? I can't put an exact number on it. All I have are surface scans to go on. From what data I do have, I'd expect the pirates to be able to field a full lens of light battle, battle mechs. All of them in poor repair. There are mixed reports of something bigger. That'll be Grim Sybil's mech. I don't have any information on tonnage or armament, but given the shape that everything else is on uh, Axilus, I imagine it's being held together with chewing gum and bailing wire. So the pirates have vehicles and turrets, maybe a few battle mechs, got it, keep going. The entire structure is surrounded by radar-guided anti-aircraft guns. Your first task will be to take down the radar tower so that Samir can approach the derelict. After you've secured the crash site, she'll dock with the Argo and drop off the engineering team. And then they'll miraculously get a 200-year-old wreck flying again. Lady Centrella has bet a massive stack of sea bills that they will. For what it's worth, I believe that her chief engineer can pull this off. I'd never heard of Dr. Farrah Murad uh, before Lady Centrella mentioned her, but I did some digging after our meeting. She was telling the truth. The doc has quite a reputation, supposed to be some kind of frontier engineer wonder kind, and a genius at bringing dead ships back to life. That's good enough for me. I'm glad to hear it, because it's going to have to be. Now that we're here, we're kind of committed to seeing this job through. I'll leave it to you, Florentia. Good hunting on the moon's surface. I'll be keeping an eye on you from up here. Okay. So this was uh, the mission that really, like, sold the soundtrack of this game for me. It's got some really excellent uh, kind of build-up and, like, layering tracks that... Uh, really kind of make a make a mission a bit more i don't know cinematic is kind of a cheesy word i think but like it's not a bad way to describe it uh interesting compelling all right let's let's do this command interface initiated welcome to axel as commander it's every bit as charming as you'd expect the pirate occupied moon to be yo click it though You'll find Grim Sybil's radar stations just ahead. Defenses appear to be limited to turrets and ground vehicles, for the time being at least. We know that Grim Sybil has at least one lance of battle mechs, so be ready for anything. Be careful of the pirate's turrets as you make your way into the base. They pack a nasty punch, and they can also sensor lock your mechs. Aim for the turret generator. That'll be the fastest way to neutralize the threat. After the pirate's radar stations are down, you'll be clear to proceed to the Argo. Good hunting, Commander. Knock out their commander, uh, their their radar cover, crush any pirate resistance, and secure their derelict. So yeah, this uh, this mission was really fun. I I liked this one a lot, um, and for a very specific reason, is this first part is like a lot of fun, because you can just like completely cut through the whole thing like a knife. Um, because they, like, put a bunch of these turrets in your way, right? But if you get in a really good position, and namely this mountain here, then you can basically hit the turret generator right away. Jumping. So we're going to get to Decker up there, and I'm hoping that him having line of sight to the turret generator will give us a spot. So that, uh... I guess Glitch is going to need line of sight. Oh, she can't jump. But she can move. Can she... Yeah, she can sprint onto this crater. So that might be good enough. Um... But yeah, we're going to want to just hit the turret generator right away. And that's going to, like... And lol. Any more objections? Good. Get out there and fight. So that's I think that's Grim Sybil. Okay, so they don't get a turn yet. Um so it is Decker's turn. I don't think that uh well, we're gonna jump him up here in the hope that him having line of sight to that turret generator is enough we can also sensor lock 
I think we can sensor lock the turret generator. I guess not. No, I guess we can only sensor the turret. We should be able to sensor lock the turret, but I guess not. It's fine. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna brace for now. Don't worry. We should be able to move him again before the turrets get there, say. I hear ya. Um, okay. So this is already not really what I had in mind. So what I'm gonna do is my... Blackjack can jump over the mountain and put himself in a position to hit the turret generator and we can hit it with the, quite a lot of stuff it's um the problem is, is i don't know if we have direct line of sight doesn't look like we do but uh this isn't bad there's a not zero percent chance we could actually destroy it here ah, hey nice there we go So we've got some vehicles over there. I'm just going to sprint over with Glitch so that she'll uh, have the evasion and then the vehicles will probably take shots on her and remove their evasion. Receiving you. Not sure what this is. Destroy the radar tower. Okay, so that's actually our mission. Here we go. And we can hit it, so why not? Let's do that. Yeah, there was no way we were gonna... We, were, we could only hit it with a large laser, so... Oh, hit. You took an injury from that? God damn it. Get an injury from this early in the game is really dumb. Or in the mission, I suppose. Okay, I'm gonna run over and i actually can't hit anything but i'm just gonna run over Acknowledged. provide an extra target with a, lots of, of built up evasion see there's some more vehicles over there um yeah i'm just gonna move up and then destroy that radar it's the mission right Oh, I won't be able to destroy it, unfortunately, even if I hit it with everything. Commander? So I'm going to move move up with Glitch, and um, we'll split up our, our attacks here. Hit, um, Do what, like one R LRM on the tower and one R LRM on the vehicle. There is no way we weren't going to destroy it there. Orders. Copy that. Um, we could start. S no, we can't split up our uh, shadow hawks. But that's not the shadow hawk. That's the vindicator. Nice. Yes. Please, please attack my spider with the ridiculous evasion. And then we're just going to run over here and stomp on it. Crunch. <laughs> I love that. That gets me every time because I never expect it. Destroy radar tower bravo. Oh, there's another tower I should be working on. Yeah, we can hit it from here. Again, we're not going to be able to destroy it because, yeah, 150 health. And we're actually building up too much heat. So... Let's actually... Can we tab? No, we can't tab. Okay, so... I committed to a bad turn there. Good to go. Um... Yeah, let's just commit... To, to taking down the tower. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That was a really good hit. It hit with everything, and yet it still stands. Yes, Commander. Roger that. Uh, we're almost up. Uh, like, we almost have too much heat here. But we should be able to kill it here. Unless we had, like, missed with one. 
For now, get to the crash site and secure the area. We're gonna take. Oh no, we still get our scout. Scout's really good at uh, killing the vehicles, but we're not gonna make it there in time, so we'll. Hmm. I guess we can just like run over. Again, providing a target that has a lot of evasion built up is not a bad thing to do. We're kind of like, you know, egging them, uh, egging an, uh, a wasted attack from them. And, um, you know, we took a little bit of it. We actually took structural damage there. They've blown past my armor. Yeah. Scary. Yeah, I mean, this isn't great, but... Wow, we missed with one. We did expose it, though. And I don't have to, you know, I don't have to worry too much about, um, you know. We can, we can take our time with this because there's no other targets available. I don't really want to hit it with two LRMs. We do have a finite amount of ammo. There we go. That was a good decision, apparently. I do remember this mission getting kind of spicy. And it sucks that um, Glitch took some, uh, took an injury. It's one of the few ways you can lose your pilots is you accidentally take three random hits of damage. This is why, like, this, this right here, this moment in the music was so, so good. I'm, a, I'm a actually going to turn it up for a moment. Just so you can hear it. Moving to position. I copy. Move order received. Affirmative. I love I love when they bring in the 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 electronic uh, accompaniment so good crash site is secure Samir you've got a clear approach path to the derelict two steps ahead of you XO uh, watch yourself commander I'm coming in hot Did my spider take some leg damage, actually? That's really bad. Package is, is delivered. XO, I'm taking the leopard to a safe distance before the pirates can get their guns running again. Roger that, Mayor. Dr. Murad, your team is clear to enter the derelict. I hear you, Mr. Oliveira. Uh, Mick, we're making our way uh, inside now. Okay, I'm gonna have to be pretty careful with our scout. I'm only gonna bring them out if there's, like, obvious... Oh god. Oh, it's fine. They had they had some evasion built up. Ready for orders. Again, well, I don't want to take too many risks. Someone out there is going to quote me on that and say, "Well, and then he ran right into, you know?" Yeah, I did. I mean, that's kind of what you got to do, right? Build up as much evasion as you can. I probably should have reserved the, the scout. I mean, that, that might have been a bad play there, I'll admit. Okay, so I'm definitely going to hit that commando. And you can see their armor is really reduced because the, this is they, they set this up as being a damaged commando. Good to go. Oh, well, but no. That's not bad. If we could take it out here, that would be really nice. Um, maybe we can do a precision strike on him. Yeah, hit that center torso. Yes! Heck yeah, bud! That uh, gave us a lot of uh, morale. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
Okay, we fortunately did not take a hit to our leg. What is that, a Jenner? It's a pretty damaged Jenner, though. Good to go. uh, I'm going to go ahead and hide. Uh, hide my scout. Just like here. Got it. Just so that they don't take any unnecessary hits. I really don't want to lose anyone. Yeah, they took uh yeah if they take another unlucky hit to their right leg they could just die well they wouldn't die i suppose but they they wouldn't be in a good way so i think what i'd like to do is draw them over here since that's the only way i can actually hit them is from close range um i can go there Unfortunately, it's not going to tell me what I can hit it with, but I'm pretty sure I can hit it with most of our weapons. Only our large laser. Shucks. What can we hit? Anything interesting? Not really. We couldn't possibly, like destroy anything um actually we could potentially destroy their left arm if we hit their left or right arm we could break it off and that would remove some weapons off the field so yeah let's uh, let's try that hmm didn't that's fine All right. On my way. What does this locust have? Two SRMs and a medium laser. Nothing to scoff at, honestly. But I think I want to prioritize killing this Jenner. Um, precision strike, the Jenner. Let's go for that left torso. There's a couple of reasons to do that, by the way. Um, one is that if you break the left torso, you will break off their arm. Um, and that will essentially, you know, remove, um, some extra firepower off the field. That's a good reason to do that. Want to do that. Uh, the second reason is that as soon as you destroy the armor off of a, of a part, the damage goes directly to their torso. So it's a good idea to like, you know, go for the weak spot. Um, like for instance, like, yeah, I could go for the center torso right here, 27 health, I could definitely zero in on the torso, 33% chance, but at the same time, there's only two health left on the left torso, so I may as well zero in on that left torso, because all of the rest of the damage will probably go to the center. SRM crit, still didn't kill it, can't believe it, honestly. Okay, so we managed to draw them in enough that I could uh, punch them with the spider. That's going to serve already. Wow. Did I break off both arms with that attack? Good to go. Affirmative. Um, I don't have enough to do a precision strike, but this should take him out. Yeah, there we go. Center torso destroyed. Next destroy. I'm a little worried about the galleon. The galleon tends to have quite a lot. I'm um, actually what I would like to do here is do a. Um, I'm gonna do a melee attack on the galleon and then save the the locust for Decker.
Pretty sure Decker can handle the locust. Just want to make sure I take out that galleon. Scorpion is going to be... Oh, that's that's fine. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god. We got another injury. Uh, not feeling too good about that. Um, Locust only has a medium laser. I definitely want to prioritize this the vehicle. I probably could didn't have to hit it with every laser. What's happening in there? Come in, doctor. A little busy. The pirates are dead. But so are half of my engineers. It's an unholy mess in here. Bodies everywhere. Can you get the ship flying again? I need an update. Look, do you want me to talk or do you want me to fix the damn ship? Um, yeah, so that was a pretty fun chain of events there. I killed, destroyed the left, uh, sorry, the right leg and also broke off its arm with the machine gun shot. The pilot sustained some damage from the initial attack. And then, um, because the right leg was destroyed, that basically guarantees a knockover or knockdown and the knockdown also um damaged the pilot so that killed the pilot because that was their third um you know damage sustained i'm a little bit worried about my pilots they've taken it a couple of them have taken a hit again two unlucky hits is enough to kill them Copy that. and then you know unless it's my main dude big simple I am not going to be redoing the mission. What I might do is do a save scum here. Um, and in case my main mech dies, I'll, I'll load here. You think you're going to steal my ship, you miserable little scrub. Nobody steals from Grim Sybil. I'm going to carve you like a roasted pig. That's a big mech. Yeah, but it's in terrible condition. Concentrate your fire and you should be able to take it. Also a little bit worried about Decker. He can punch it though. Uh, it's a quick draw. Ooh, that sucks. Um, actually doesn't have too much armor in the leg. The Shadow Hawk. Hmm. They've got some. They've got ammo in the left torso. They've got la ammo in the right torso. I kind of want to just like run in with Decker and kick the, <laughs> the quick draw. I think could be good. Just kick him in the shin. On for physical attack. And then uh, shoot it. There is a not 0% chance I could actually destroy one of the legs and um, guarantee a, a knockdown. And then we could start like uh, actually you know, doing some major damage. I'm going to do a jump in so that I'm not exposing my entire right flank to, uh, to the other lad, the shadow Hawk. And I am going to be trying to hit the quick draw. I did do some pretty major damage to the left leg. So let's just, um, continue to target it. Wow, I did not hit the left leg at all. Waiting for orders. Right, Commander. Um, at this point, it might be better to actually aim for the arm so that we can get rid of some of those weapons. Not bad. Acknowledged. It's unsteady, so we should be able to. Uh, I might actually be worth doing some, getting some overheat. I'll take off one medium laser. We'll overheat a little bit, Got it. just as a treat, you know. Yeah, there we go. Starting to cook. 
Ouch. Commander. Um, its right leg is hurt. Pretty sure the melee hits, like, the height, height difference means that attacking it with a smaller mech kind of guarantees we hit the leg. Certainly looked like we hit the leg there. Yes. Heck yeah. Some heavy damage. Knocked down, pilot injured. Structure exposed, that's not good. But hey, we are in a very good position right now. So I'm gonna do a little jump back. Um so that we put some distance between me, the Shadow Hawk, and the Blackjack. And now we're gonna start aiming. Uh, and we're gonna try and, first of all, just take out this mech. Um, I'll take off a couple of medium lasers. We should be able to pretty much destroy it here. Heat sink destroyed, that's not bad. We, we would like to do better, of course. Not liking Glitch's position right here. That's not bad. This is actually much better. Got it. And again, I'm just going to be aiming at the uh, the quick draw. We could take it out right here. That wouldn't be bad. Is it destroyed yet? No. Ready for orders. Still no. Wow. Okay, let's take off. Oh, wait, we're going to overheat quite a lot. Okay, this is this is fine. We uh, I don't think we'll take it out here, but certainly. Oh, there we go. Yes. <laughs> Love that. Okay, so now we still have a Shadow Hawk to deal with, and they've got quite some weaponry. Not as much as the, uh, the quick draw had. Oof. Ouch. 85. Actually, let's not. Let's just punch them. I'm just going to punch them because, uh, I, that will help me get some of my heat back. Am I doing a flying punch here? Because I don't mean to do that. And the blackjack has two lasers, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some nice damage. Um, glitch is just going to hit it. We can do a precision strike. I don't know what we would hit. Ooh, it's, uh, it's taking some pretty nasty damage. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, it's because we're we're um, Only able to hit their right side kind of want to just aim for the center torso We'll probably break off the left arm there Nope still. No, okay Moving out. Probably should have just done a melee hit honestly. Oh, this is bad. That was such a bad move actually I'm just gonna brace that was really, really stupid of me. I moved in like the worst positioning ever. Standing by. We're gonna Roger. move to behind the Shadow Hawk so that we're out of range. I basically put the spider between me and the Shadow Hawk, and I couldn't move, and I should have done a melee hit to begin with. So, like, just like all of that was not great. But, you know, I don't think we're gonna be punished too badly. We're just going to do melee hits so that we cool down a bit. There we go. I mean, the melee hits are still good. Knocked down pilot injured. Pretty sure we can destroy it now. Let's just hit it with everything. Wow, I missed pretty badly. Still broke off its left arm though. Nice. Get your lance to the Argo, Commander. I'm just about done. Coordinate. 
Coordinates received. Location confirmed. And that's it. Took a little bit of damage. A couple of people got injured. It's going to be a little bit of time before we can take on other missions. But I think uh, I'm pretty happy with how this went. It's done. I can't believe it. It really worked. The engines are online and I have thrust control. Go now. Celebrate later. Roger that. Hang on, Commander. For the first time in two centuries, this beast is going to fly. Mission successful. Nice chunk of change. Um, yeah, so they're, both myself and Glitch are going to be uh, down for the count for 27 days. But we get to cherry pick some really nice parts. Definitely going to take the quick draw. Quick draw part. It's a 60 ton mech. Really nice. Shadowhawk is also a really, really decent mech if we could build it. And you could say like, hey, why don't you take three locusts? Isn't that like a guaranteed mech? It is, but it's a locust. Who cares? I don't want it. Wouldn't mind a, um, a Jenner as well. Honestly, Jenner wouldn't be a bad compromising mech. We'll probably... I don't know how many parts we're going to get. Oh, priority three and then 15 extra. So we'll probably get some other mech parts. Yeah, we got a locust part. We got an L another LRM-10, which is nice. Four medium lasers, an SRM-6, which is nice. Um, some jump jets, some extra jump jets. It's all good. It's all good stuff. Neat. Who is that? Oh my god. You've done ex uh, excellent work, Commander Beard, and you've earned yourself an opportunity to do more. Re meet your real client. I don't believe that she needs an introduction. Command Arano. Oh my god, she's alive! Who, who would have thought? Who would have thunk it? I'm happy to see you again, Big Simple, or should I say Commander. You've done well for yourself. The old man would be pleased. It must come as a shock to you seeing us here at Alloway. Seeing us at all. I apologize for that. But I had to be sure that you were in the, uh, you were the mech warrior I remembered before I reached out to you. And now with the Argo on its way to uh, Lyriton for repair, r repairs, I know. You are everything I remember and more. Um... I can't believe you're standing here. The entire Reach is convinced that you're dead. She was dead. Lord Madeira, too. I'm sorry, Lady Arano, but the news feed ran footage of your dropship getting blown out of the sky on a loop for months. That wasn't her dropship. The broadcasts of her death were directorate propaganda, well-crafted lies to keep the masses in line. And with that, Kamea, I'll leave you to your reunion. Best of luck with the negotiations and keep me apprised of whatever decision you come to. Lady Centrella's face winks off of the view screen. The b uh, dull blue glow of her hollow projection slowly dies away. Lady Centrella was right about the propaganda, big simple. My uncle's directorate is run on lies, though in this case, they very th nearly became true. The directorate's assassins pursued us into the frontier. In the months following the coup, we had more than our share of close calls. Eventually they gave up looking for us, and we've been living in exile ever since. 
I know what that's like. I was in exile. I've been in exile. It's my origin. Did you know I was in exile? This is like every player who's like super into their character and like brings in the book of, you know, like their character and they're like, want to read their backstory. As far from directorate space as we could get without leaving the frontier, a miserable little ball of secrets. I can't, I couldn't. It was a nasty brutish planet full of inter, uh, internecine strife. I don't know that word. And bloody turmoil. There were power struggles and mad nobles, plagues and zealots and holy wars. So you're saying it was a typical frontier world. N more or less living on Karamadir, I heard stories about the problems that many frontier systems face, but I was d detached. I never saw how rough life outside of the Oregon coalition could get. My uncle's coup changed everything. Big simple, including me. You had Centrella send us after the Argo. I'd like to know why. In part, as a test of your abilities, to make sure that your performance on Cormadir wasn't a fluke. Our experience in the coup has taught us to be careful, Commander Beard. We couldn't just reach out to you on faith. But the Argo herself is important as well. She isn't just a ship, big simple. She's a symbol of reclamation and rebirth and the return of better days. You'll see for yourself soon enough. She was a majestic vessel once, a true product of the Star League. Under Dr. Murad's care, she will begin... She, she will be again. Okay, you made it off of Karmadir, and you found me. Let's talk about why. I imagine you've already guessed. I intend to seek justice for my uncle's crimes. I intend to take my throne back. But I can't do it without you. We have resources. An army drawn from all across the frontier. Perhaps most importantly... We have the patronage of Lady Centrella and the tacit support of her government. That means money, a great deal of money. The Magistry is bank uh, bankrolling you, huh? Unofficially, yes. Using Lady Centrella as an intermediary, the magistri Magistracy sees Camille's claim to the throne as an asset worth paying for. They want to see the Directorate de dealt with but it isn't in their interest to do it themselves. They prefer to keep their own hands clean. The rim-wired periphery is a powder keg. Tensions between the Taurian Concordat and the Federated Sons are high, and my uncle's military prostering could be viewed as a, pro a provocation by either side. It, if open conflict between superpowers were to erupt, it would be difficult for anyone to remain neutral. The Magistracy uh, wants to avoid getting dragged into a major war. In your house, Centrella's best hope for a clean solution. They fill your war chest, you remove the Directorate from the board, and the Magistracy lets tensions between the Federated Sons and the Tarians simmer down on their own. Am I reading the situation correctly, Lady Urano? Correctly enough, Mr. Oliveira. I can't read this guy's name, Oliveira. I can't, like, it, 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 his name is like a shampoo. I don't know what's up. Uh, I understand that this isn't just about diffusing a dangerous situation. For me, taking on the directorate is personal. I, I, I realize and acknowledge that his name might actually be a name, so I apologize for that remark. But I, every time I read it, it sounds like I, I'm definitely saying it wrong. So that's my bad. My uncle betrayed me. The Founding Council has been reduced to a handful of pow powerless figureheads. Our very identity has been cut away and discarded. House Espinosa is long overdue for reckoning, and with your help, I will bring them one. I will bring them one. Join with me, and we'll not fail. You've already sold me on this. I pledge myself. Nah, this, this always felt really cheesy to me. Also, I mean, I know I'm the commander, but it's just like this group of people feels more than just like a this is my squad and i control them your cause is honorable lady arano if the price is right i think we can do business together i like this more because it like kind of um puts my foot forward but also keeps you know i guess puts my group in a position of respect it's like hey i'm not just gonna like volunteer myself and all of the people who work for me into your service we want to know that the money is there um it's less pragmatic and more of a sign of respect in my opinion the price of course big simple let us discuss your compensation 
Pledge yourselves to me and I will buy your company's debts, all of them. You'll be free to travel and seek clients as you please, so long as you come to me when I call for you. And on the day that I reclaim my throne, your obligation to me will be forgiven, your debt wiped clean. Of course, you will also be paid for every battle you fight at our behest, at a rate that will feel quite generous, given the clientele that you're accustomed to. Thanks to House Centrella, we have money to burn. I don't like the thought of being someone's noble pawn, but I don't like being in hawk to a bunch of loan sharks either. This sounds like a pretty good deal, boss, I'm just saying. Deal. Let's go Let's go make Mastiff Montgom uh, Montgomery proud. He would be. In truth, I feel that he is smiling, smiling down on us even now. I'll take my leave of you now. I have an army to rally and preparations to make, but it won't be long before I contact you again. And when I do, I'll need you ready. Prepare yourself and your company, Big Simple. Our war is about to begin. Lady Arena just bought up all of our debt, Commander. That means no more banks restricting our jump ship access. We can travel to more systems now, but we should still steer clear of the major states. We don't want it to look like we're going to cut and run. Good news. Once Doc Murad and her crew got that wrecked sh ship safely away, they found most of a Centurion in its cargo hold. It's not equipped for combat yet, but with a little love and attention, I think we could, I could service it, return it to service. I could service it. Swing by the mech bay and check it. Okay. Sturdy and reliable mech, the Centurion is good at both taking and giving a beating. CN9A models are able to engage in any range, but their damage curve increases as they approach a target. Now, personally, what I did is I took the Centurion and, well, uh, again, this is, Actually, no, this was the one of the few mechs I kind of um, specced out myself with the help of one of my friends. Um, as we turned the Centurion into a long-range beast. Which was... I, it was good. <laughs> you know. Um, that being said, I don't have to necessarily do that again. And I already have a pretty good long-range beast. Or, of course, I could do what I did in, this, in my other campaign, which was to turn the Shadow Hawk into a short-range beast, and then turn the Centurion into a long-range beast. I, I kind of don't mind that idea, because honestly, I think the Shadow Hawk only being able to equip with two long-range missiles is a little bit, I don't know, feels underpowered, to be honest. Rather, equip them with a ton of short-range missiles. We've only got SRM-6, 4, and 2. We've got a bunch of 2s, though. We could look for some more 6s. Do we have any 6s here? We do have one six. It's 100 grand, though. That's fine. We'll buy it. New weapon systems available. It's the Exchanger. It's quite expensive. I'm not going to buy it, but I'm just curious about it. Reduce the overall heat generated from weapon attacks by a fixed percentage. It's just a better heat sink, I guess. Um, I have six SRM ammo. I don't need more. Uh, there was something else I was seeing that I want. Yeah, the cockpit mod. Um... This uh, basically makes it so that your pilots don't get injured as much. One plus one injury resist. It gives them one health, basically. It's really expensive. I wouldn't mind buying it, but I'm not going to do that now. So we do. We do have two SRM sixes. That's not bad. The Shadowhawk. And in fact, we can't really go higher than that. Oh, we can't. We can't. We could. So let's, um, well, we'll just put an SRM4 in the, um, the head. That's basically, I mean, we don't, like, that, that's pretty good. That's good. We don't need to have more than that. Um, you know, we can later, of course, but. We'll throw the ammo in the legs. And how much ammo? Oh, wow. So that is it. We're good. That's it for... Um, like, we, we could take out... Well, how much are these? One ton. We could take out one of these ammos. And then um, put in two jump jets. Again, it's not going to offer a lot in terms of mobility. 
but I like it. I think it's good. It'll mean that we can do short jumps and then um, get the full range of rotation. I like that a lot. And we could approach in the uh, reapproach in the future. Right now, the SRM4 is uh, two tons versus three tons. So what that really means is the jump from SRM4 to SRM6 is really, really not that bad. I could then ditch, say, uh, the two jump jets and, um, you know, then we, we get an upgrade from an SRM4 to an SRM6. It's not a big upgrade, but it's an upgrade nonetheless. So I like that. So then um, let's come back to the Centurion. The Centurion be is going to become our long range beast. <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead, we've already stripped the equipment, but let's go ahead and strip it anyway, and then max out the armor. Um, we have four LRM 10s. So we're gonna put all of those on the right side. That doesn't leave us with a lot of room left. How much is the LRM-5? Two tons? Uh, I guess there's no more room for anything left. How, how heavy is the PPC? Seven tons, not gonna happen. Okay, three LRM-10s is good. I like that. And uh, we'll stock it with some LRM ammo. I'm content with this. We should probably put some heat sinks in there. Oh, they're one ton each. That's fine. How much do these generate? Yeah, I figured it was going to be like 10, 10 heat each. Um, that one little piddly heatsink is not going to do much for us. Still. Better than nothing. I don't hate this. We'll see how it performs. Oh, we'll have to... So we just max out the armor. It takes it off the legs, which is fine. Right. I'll get it in the schedule. Um, can we do anything about the spider? Probably not going to use the spider anymore because <clears throat> now we have better things i might just like strip well we'll max out the armor we're gonna strip the equipment because i would prefer to throw support lasers and stuff like that on other things i'm we're gonna put it in storage for now Shouldn't be too hard. can we not do that your mech is too badly damaged to safely lock it down for long-term storage you must repair any existing structure damage before the mech can be stripped and secured. How much is the repair? 3,000? Okay, go ahead and repair it. I don't want to just, like, get rid of it just yet. 3,000 is not a, not a hefty bill. I'm actually pretty happy with the Vindicator. I think it's performing well. I like it. I wouldn't mind... Um, the jump jets are half a ton. The heat sinks are a ton. So we don't, we'd have to stri strip two jump jets to put on another heat sink. I'm just going to leave it. I think it's doing well. I think it's doing very well. So we're just going to go ahead and repair it. Um, let's look at the blackjack real quick. What kind of support did it have? It had a small laser. It has two some small lasers. Again, I think that this um is doing well we could upgrade oh we didn't we didn't get another large laser sad sad face and i thought we got a large laser for some reason we don't have any more room for guns so yeah i mean that's that's it <clears throat> we'll just We'll just repair it and then let's go ahead and look at our mech warriors and level them up um it's me i don't have enough xp to basically take anything of value uh i don't think that anyone did really okay um decker got some points he can take piloting I like that. Training. I like I like Decker taking piloting. On you, 
I like um, Glitch taking... kind of want to give her Gunnery. Honestly, I think I just want to take Tactics. Called Shot Bonus. Reduces her minimum range. Just, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. We might have to train up Medusa at some point. Um, and then we're going to look at contracts real quick. We don't have a lot. I've, I've, I've read that to the, the pirates are a good faction to get friendly with because then you get access to the black market. But I really don't think that that should be the only way that it, one plays the game. Just because it is a good way. So we'll probably just do this last mech standing. Um, Cause it doesn't look like there's a lot available right now. And we'll call it there. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the series. Definitely uh, hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.